Hello and welcome back or welcome to my channel. Before I get started with my project pan finale, I just wanted to let you guys all know that I have a giveaway going on on my channel right now. It is for the Naked Heat palette, a Tarte Rainforest of the Sea lipstick, and a Wet n Wild highlighter. So definitely go and check that video out so you can enter and win some of these products potentially. All of the information is on that video, so I will link it up here and down below if you would like to check that out. Okay, so on to my project pan. I have been doing this for about three months now and I have got a total of 10 products and I did pretty good on this project pan. I think I about hit my goal on everything. So let's go ahead and get on into it. The first product in my project pan is a blush by Tarte. This is in the shade Savored. This is what it looks like. I have definitely expanded the pan significantly in this product. My goal was just to expand the pan, which I did. It started out with a little itty bitty pan and I've definitely worn away quite a bit of the imprint around and then also just expanded the pan in general so I'm very happy to have used a lot more of this product I really enjoy these blushes I think they work really well and they're pretty long-lasting and so I'm glad I'm getting my use out of it but I am happy to not have to use this every single day almost and along with all of these products I'm glad to have like kind of hit my max on those I'll tell you what this project pan I have been kind of sick of some of these products next I have got a Mac bronzer this is just the matte bronzer this is what it looks like now. I have really seriously expanded the pan in this. It was a pretty small last time and then it's just done really well. I've expanded the pan and then also have a pretty good dip going around the center. So I'm very happy with my progress on this. I'm going to keep using this. I actually really don't not like this, but MAC is not cruelty free, which is why it was in this project pan. Next, I have got a highlighter. This is the Mary Luminizer by The Bomb. And this is what the pan looks like in there. My last update, I just had a little teeny tiny pan and I had just hit it. So, I mean, this isn't a lot of progress, but there is a lot of product in this and it took a lot to get there. This is like the only highlighter that I've been using except sometimes an eyeshadow, but I am very happy with this and I'm not in any hurry to get this out of my collection. I'm pretty sure the balm is cruelty free. And so I, this is one of my favorite highlighters. I really like it, but... I'm very happy with my progress. Next, I have got a primer by Hourglass. This is the Mineral Veil Primer. And let's see, so on the side, this is where um, I started and then this was my second update and now it's finished. I took a little spatula thing, got in there, swiveled around and got as much as I could out of there. And I enjoy this primer, but I don't find that it does amazing things for my skin. NYX has an Angel Veil Primer that is extremely similar, but like a fraction of the price. So I don't know that I would repurchase that but it was it was fine it was a perfectly fine primer next I have another primer this is the urban decay optical illusion complexion primer and let's see this is where I started my update I was like here ish I don't for some reason have that line and then now it's finished up I actually really liked this primer I may repurchase it when I run out of some of the ones that I have but this is all finished up next on my list is the Laura Mercier translucent powder I had some some of this left but I ran out quite a while ago and I've just been using my RCMA no color translucent powder and there's not really much to see this is this is used up and this is empty and I will not repurchase because Laura Mercier is not cruelty free next I have an urban decay all-nighter makeup setting spray I used this up I think before the first update and it's fine I have a backup but that one that little travel size is used up next is probably um, the worst product in my project pan only because I do not use liner like this almost ever. This is the Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Smoke Out. It's a really nice eyeliner, um, pencil liner. I just don't use them ever. So let me show you. So here is my sheet of paper. Here is where I started my first update, my second update. I think I maybe used this two times during this last, between this last update and this one right now. And so it just, I just don't use them. I was really hoping that putting it in this project pan would make me use it more, but it just, it just didn't. So, I mean, I'm kind of disappointed in myself, but th there was only one product that I really had problems with and it was this one. So what do you do? You just, sometimes it just, 
you just don't do the greatest and that's fine. This next product, however, I did really good on. This is the NARS a Satin Lip Pencil, I think, in the shade Rakugan. So back to my little sheet. So here is where I started. Here was my first update and then here was my second update. I didn't, I mean, I didn't do quite as good as I did between the start and the second update, but I still, I still got some really good progress out of it and I actually don't even know how much more I'll be able to sharpen this. So I don't really know how far down the product goes but I enjoy this and it's almost gone so I'm glad that I got my use out of it and will be sad to see it go because NARS is no longer cruelty free but I'd rather use it up while it's still good. All right and my last product in my project pan is the Lorac Pro 2 palette so let's open her up. So I really worked on the shades that were from here up. These shades are a little bit darker. I used sometimes charcoal and silver and chrome but not too often. So my goal with this palette was to expand the pan in buff and beige and to hit pan in the shade snow, rose, nectar, and light brown, which I accomplished all of. I ended up pretty much using up the shade buff. I expanded the pan somewhat in beige, and then I definitely hit pan in snow, nectar, light brown, and then just barely in rose right here in the corner. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that, but that one took forever to hit pan on. I'm not sure why. I have a pretty big dent in this whole like half over here, so I think I was just using more area than in some of these other shades, but I'm definitely very happy that I accomplished my goal in this palette. I'll, I will say that I am kind of sick of using it. I always enjoyed the looks that I had, but I found that I was doing basically the same look over and over again. And so, and I have so many palettes in my collection and so many new palettes that I'm, I'm really happy to be able to now put that aside and be able to move on to use some of my newer palettes. And so with that being said, I'm going to wait a little while before I start my next project pan so that I can kind of play around with some of my other palettes and not feel obligated to focus on one palette specifically. But let me know how you liked this video. If you like this project pan, let me know what kind of products you would like to see in future project pans maybe or any tutorials. Also, please don't forget to check out my giveaway that I've got. One of the requirements of said giveaway is to be subscribed. So Felix and I would love it if you would join our little family. Why do you always look like drunk when you're in my videos? Huh? The one time he's just not absolutely Absolutely crazy. Join our little family, hit that subscribe button below, and until next time, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Now you're gonna pop your head up? Yeah? Is that how it is?